say hello to another one of the BIPOP and hard sync challenge videos. And this is on a different kind of note. This note is about who are you, who are we in a 5D reality. And so the first one I really want to address that. Who are we then? Obviously we will have left behind some of the 3D suffering, the 3D mindsets. Maybe we don't have any more mindsets. We will be living more in the heart. We will be more together. We will be collaborating and we will not be damaging and hurting each other. So we will not live in war anymore. We will have peace. What is interesting on that note of peace I've just heard recently from one of my favorite astrologers is actually the time 4,000 years and before the archaeologists can't find any weapons and also the cities did not have any walls. So there is no signs of war. There is no sign of violence. So obviously it meant that people before didn't need that. They didn't live in that fear. They didn't feel they had to fight. They didn't feel they need a war in order to be whoever they want to be. So who are we in a 5D consciousness, in a 5D reality? I want to look at three, four points this time that seem to be very important. The first one is that we're actually sovereign and sovereign has to do with uniqueness. So it will not be that you have to comply to everything that is told to you. Your uniqueness will be a unique part of the wholeness and you will be contributing that in a very natural way. In your field, in your expertise, in whatever it is that you do in your life. So it's not that identity of everybody needs to be the same, of self-development, everybody needs one, two, three, four. No, it will be more about you being sovereign in your uniqueness and contributing from the heart into the wholeness. So this is part of who you gonna be in a 5D reality and consciousness. The other thing is you're gonna be connected. And obviously connected is the opposite of separation. We find in our world at this current time still, of course, because we are in transition, many people are very disconnected, they're very lonely. We, we find also in our praxis working with individuals and working in classes that people can't get over that loneliness, over that abandonment, over that rejection. And of course it leads to a lot of mental health issues, to depression, unfortunately even to suicide. And so your 5D prototype, I want to say, no it's not prototype, your 5D version, the homo luminous version, is actually going to be connected. You will no longer feel alone because you know you are not alone. It is not something I can explain to you but this is just something that you will not experience anymore as you have fully attuned to your own wholeness so, so the physical experience that you have to your soul, to your heart, to your spirit, to source and so that whole loneliness and separation you will not know anymore so this is another very interesting part of that. Of course your consciousness, which is number three, will have also shifted because your consciousness will not only be focused on the physical, on the rational. Your consciousness would have gone through the heart. And as I mentioned in an earlier video, you will be able to access the three chambers of your heart, the architecture of your heart. And that means that you will understand pain and suffering, but you no longer live there. You will be living in the higher heart, which is the 5D world. So you don't need an identity or you don't need labels. You can just be 
so that consciousness that you will be experiencing is actually the I am consciousness that comes out of non-duality but actually it's at an even higher point it means that you're very integrated embodied in your wholeness of being so that's a very beautiful way of being who you are and imagine we are experiencing this together now the other part is also very exciting number four is vitality we are spending a lot of time we're spending a lot of money a lot of effort in health in healing now health I left long time ago because it just means the absence of of sickness so for me that's not how I want to live it was always for me about vitality vitality so what does that really mean we actually all meant to be vital we all meant to be well this body is not really made for sickness what causes sickness and I'm referring to Dolores Cannon and many many others what causes sickness is actually the subconscious so the karma that we have accrued the mindsets that we have the fear the separation so all the things that have accrued and accumulated in the 3d world that we have lived for so long so the healing is a side effect of being you in 5d so when we look at the stories of Atlantis in the golden days of Atlantis nobody was sick occasionally they adjusted their chakras and that was pretty much it so what does it mean in 5d that you have this vitality the vitality comes from being fully connected to the source to your source fractal as I call it so again it's the journey of the heart and that doesn't have anything because it doesn't even have a body so when you're fully connected your body actually naturally needs to be vital now it doesn't mean that you never fall it doesn't mean that you never have a flu or a cold it doesn't mean that but it's passing and you are no longer trapped in that so this is you in 5d connected vital conscious in a very different way are you ready are you ready to join me in this beautiful 5d persona if you want to call it that way and of course you're sovereign and sovereign doesn't mean separated it just means you're unique as we were mentioned before so how is that you are in 5d is that aspiring for you can you imagine are you ready so you know how it goes you like it <coughs> let me know write in your comments what else we can do with this and how you can and now this gets really interesting how you can be your 5d version and how we can be in our 5d versions in our 5d i am together so thank you so much for being here today again and see you soon